Hey everyone, the numbers are in for Splash for February 2022. I'm Craig Duran with the Duran Group over at Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. A um, couple of things real quick in this video. I'm going to walk you through what's happening in the overall market so you have some sense of that. Um, we'll go through specific pricing for you in Splash and then give you some ideas on pricing strategies or values um, to point out what I think are some mistakes we're seeing in the market being made quite a bit. I'm seeing uh, frankly, some units get priced too low, and I'm going to give you some examples of where this idea has made a dramatic difference in price, difference in price, tens of thousands of dollars. In one case, $65,000. In another case, over $200,000. So um, we'll get right to it. I have a lot I want to share with you. Um, very generally speaking, there are not that many condos for seller, for buyers to buy right now. Buyers are extremely motivated to buy something. Um, it's beach season, so no matter what's happening in the market, this time of year, buyers always like, they get more emotional about it. Um, they can use a condo right away or they can rent it right away. And so they're always naturally more excited and might pay a little bit more this time of year than other parts of the year. And when you combine that with the fact that plenty of buyers have been trying to buy something for a very long time and can't find something or losing out on multiple offer situations, um, Combine that with this is a travel year that they're talking about. This summer can be as, as as busy of a travel season as we've seen because of the country opening back up for the summer. Um, it's it's a very intense market. It, it was a very busy market last year from the second or third week of January or so to today. Um, this is March the 3rd. Uh, it's as intense as I've seen it in a very long time. I was around and selling real estate in 04 and 05 and Panama City Beach was a different place then. And I, I, I don't know that it was even this quite, quite as intense as it is, it is now. So let me show you some samples of what's going on. Um, from a supply standpoint, if you look at this first column, we're 49, 50, 52, 56% fewer condos are available for sale right now when you compare it to February of last year. Now think about that for a second. Last year was already a tight supply scenario. The market was already hot last year. We have half the number of condos even for sale. And to look at that differently, let's get to real some real numbers. 70 units are for sale right now. If you just look at the newer buildings, um, I'm looking at only 2006 builds in newer. Let's circle this number for you again. There's 70 units for sale, but look at this. Shores of Panama right now, there's some things happening over there that's for another video. There are 52 units for sale in that building today. So. If you want to buy something and you don't want to be in Shores of Panama for, for some obvious reasons, there are 70 minus 52 units available for sale. There are 18 units left available for sale on the, in the market. That's counting efficiencies, one bedrooms, two bedrooms, three bedrooms, the few four bedrooms that we have. So imagine if you're a buyer now and you have more criteria than that. If you want to be close to Pier Park, if you want to be far from Pier Park, if you want a, a heated pool or not, if you want to be a certain floor, there's nothing to buy. So when you're hearing stories about, you know, five and eight and 10 offers that come immediately, that's the kind of market we're in right now. It's, it's that intense. Um, pricing and splash, this is only from February. Um, we have, uh, let me make sure I've got this set right. Yeah, February. Um, we have a one bedroom unit close at 422,500. We had another one close at 430,000. We had another one close at 430,000. I'm going to talk about one bedrooms there in a minute. I think there's some untapped value there personally. Um, two bedrooms, we had one sell for 546,000 and we have another two bedroom asking price is 569,000 and, um, it's under contract. There's a sale pending. So talking about pricing just a little bit from the real estate agent perspective, we're taught in the very few hours of real estate school that we get very little about how to price something. And if you compare that to an appraiser, an appraiser will, I think has to have something like a thousand hours of, of education or they have to be a protege um, before they're even allowed to write their own appraisals. They have to work under someone for a year or two before they're even allowed to be in business for themselves. So extreme amount of detail how to really value real estate get very very granular and even those experts sometimes make mistakes and miss values so my point is real estate agents are very it's very 
less sophisticated, unsophisticated approach to it. So um, this is a, an example of what we just did in Calypso the other day. Um, there were, I was asked to value a one bedroom, two bath. Recent sales prices in there were 450, 455, 460, and 460. And think about that for a second with where splash prices are and where I think splash prices could be. But the numbers were between 450 and 460. Um, inside the box, traditional pricing from or maybe an inexperienced real estate agent might say, um, well, the average of your unit is average. We, we, we're probably worth 455 or 458 on paper. The market's hot. Let's price it at 469 or maybe 475 or ooh, let's go crazy and go 479. That's $20,000 more than the highest price. A lot of ways that makes sense. Part of that explanation from an agent is that, well, the appraisals are going to come in right here. So we can't go much above the appraised value, which in some ways is correct. The appraisals probably will come in right there. Uh, another way to think about this, I see some sellers thinking, um, some sellers who might try to do this on their own, um, wow, if I could get 10,000 more than the last guy, I'd be really doing well. And then if I don't have to pay a real estate agent, then cool, I'm even doing a little better. Um, the short version, we were asked to do this and um, 525,000 is the deal. Um, what is that? For $65,000 higher than the recent sale in the building um, is what we're looking at. Uh, I can tell you a couple more off the top of my head. We've got one for 539. The recent sale was 500. One is 1.3 million. The recent sale is 850. One a re uh, recent sale is a million twenty thousand. Uh, recent sale was 900. Um, I've got one re asking price is 1.249. We've got 1.15 on the table. There hasn't been anything over a million in that building. Um, one over a million. Sorry. My point here is there's, I, I believe and in, in experiencing and helping people get to closing and, and believe that there's some untapped value in this market right now because of a combination of a few things. The supply and demand we talked about this time of year with beach season, um, the intensity of the overall market and what agent, you know, some inexperience of the buyers and the agents that are working in the market, all that matters. So if you're going to do this and you're thinking about selling, um, this time of year is really incredible through about middle end of May. Um, we still sell condos through June, July and August, and we probably still will this year with as, as intense as the market is, if everything stays the same. Um, but it's important. But you can't. One thing I wanted to stress about how to get to those higher numbers and get them to closing. There's a difference between someone saying, oh, yeah, I'll give you. Five hundred when the last sale was four fifty. But there's a big difference between saying that and being able to do that. Um, there's a few things that have to happen. You can't just tell one agent or one Facebook group that, oh, I've got a condo for sale. There's nothing wrong with that. That's part of the process, but you're only telling a handful of people. Even, even a, an active buy, sell Facebook group only has 1,000, 1,500 people in it, something like that. Your owner's group might have 100 or 200 people in it. Um, if you... Well, the secret sauce, the way we're doing it, professional photography, professional videography, explaining the unit, the amenities, the, the surrounding area. You've got to do that. And it has to be great. It can't just be your average professional photographer. It has to be a great professional photographer who has vision and editing skills and, and all those things. The video has to be excellent. Then once you have your message put together, you have to distribute it all over the place. And with digital marketing, which includes email marketing, social media marketing, Internet marketing, Google ads, social media ads, YouTube ads, retargeting, all those things are at our fingertips. What we do every day, um, websites, MLS is a very big part of it. Plenty of agents put things on the MLS and say, "Ooh, cool, the MLS is doing a lot of work. The MLS is very powerful. There's no doubt. But there are other places to reach even more people. And when you can do that and reach tens of thousands of people, now you realize that one owner's group or one small Facebook group or two agents or five agents may not be the one to bring you the buyer that will pay the absolute most money. When you have people from all over the world now buying in this market, I've had more conversations in the last year with people from 
um, Iowa, Seattle, Pennsylvania, Connecticut, I can think of off the top of my head that um, are buying here. We never had people coming from those places before. This area is being, re is being discovered potentially or whatever is happening. It's intense. And I think a lot of us, even agents that have been doing it a long time, I've been 19 years in the business and I'm still challenged by pricing about just how high we can push it. Um, one very experienced agent um, last week told me they, they priced a property they thought aggressively and it went for $250,000 over that. That's the kind of market we're in. And that's the kind of market that if you're talking about buy low and sell high, we're in that environment right now. I can't stress it enough. So if you're thinking about selling, you know, do all those things and you'll create some of these gangbuster record pricing sales. If, uh, if you're, if it's just an investment and you're trying to cash out or you've enjoyed something for a long time and you're looking for a change, um, those are the things that are happening. So I hope that helps some of you. Um, there's so much happening. You can tell so quickly that I, I, I'm not going to send an email about everything that happens. I'm, I do this video once a month. I do the coffee thing uh, video or email once every Friday. And then from there, um, we're, we're, I'm making a commitment to be more active on social media and YouTube because I can get things out there faster. Um, and I don't want to pound people with information they don't want. So if you want to follow it, you want to check us out on social or subscribe to the YouTube channel. We're doing a lot of the market updates there. We have it very organized. So you'll see a lot of the property tours and the videos that we're doing now, making a major investment video this year. Um, you'll also see um, some tips and some ideas on how to navigate situations in real estate, whether you own real estate or you're negotiating a contract uh, or you're working through a closing process. And the idea there is to help not only people we're working with or people in this market, but there's a lot of ideas that apply anywhere you are. So. Uh, I've been doing it a long time and feel like that's a good place to maybe help some more people. So check it out. Um, if you have any specific questions about splash or your condo, or if you're wanting a valuation of what I may, what I might price it in today's market, just if you're curious, feel free to reach out. I'll put that to get, I'll put that together for you. There's no charge. There's no commitment to work with me. I'll just give you my ideas on pricing. Um, and we're having a lot of success on not just five or 10 bucks more than the last sales price. So, I hope this helps you if you're still watching. Bless you for still watching and listening to me ramble. Um, I'm Craig Duran with the Duran Group at Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, and we'll see you next month.